Welcome everybody and happy Monday night. Welcome to Wildflower Will's YouTube channel. It is a brand new episode of New Start Monday Knits. So I hope you're all grabbing your knitting, getting a drink, and getting comfy. And we're going to sit here and we're going to just chat about all things knitting for the next hour. I have got the winning results for this week's yarn. <laughs> there's a little, there's always a little story around everything I do. So we've got some yarn. I have got some yarn tidying updates I could give you. I have updates on last week's project and I have an update on my Fiber Friends Knit Along Shawl, which is the Orange Crush Shawl. This is a finished one here and I've got another finished one here and I am working on my third Orange Crush. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So let's talk about the new yarn for this week. So I was doing a little bit of yarn cleaning this week and I actually came across some empty sock needles so you know what that means it means I get to cast on new socks so I pulled out two skeins of yarn that have been in my stash for quite a while and put them up on Instagram and over on Facebook and you guys voted for which one should be turned into a pair of socks for this week so there was this one I think left right maybe left was the Halloween yarn anyways we'll talk about this one here first so this one here was it's gorgeous you guys I'm sure have all heard of expression fiber arts Shandy is the dyer and she is lovely a wealth of knowledge she's a knitter a crochet or a spinner she does it all dyes beautiful beautiful yarn and this has been in my stash for quite a while I think this yarn was gifted to me by my friend Sandy I think and I've had it in my in my stash for a little while but it's so pretty it is almost too pretty to knit isn't it like look at all those colors look at the speckles anyways I look at this and I think okay these would make a good end of the summer pair of socks now I'm not entirely sure if there's nylon in here though um, so if I knit these into socks, I may put some nylon reinforcement in the, in the foot and in the heel. So we'll see. I, I was going, I got, I got sidetracked, believe it or not. I know that's hard to believe, right? I did pull up my laptop and I was going to look up Expression Fiber Arts. I was going to go to the website and I was going to look up her Resilient Superwash Merino Sock. That's what it says on the label here. So it's, it just says Superwash Merino. So I'm almost leaning to that this might be 100% Merino. It doesn't say anything about nylon. Um, it was, I was going to double check it. It is 366 meters or 400 yards. Knitting needle size is a US 0 to a 2 crochet hook. It says B or E. And hand, hand, oh, hand wash, yes, or machine wash because it is super wash. So, anyways, but that is it. That is all the info that is on the ball band. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Super, super pretty. So, summer socks. Oh, Susanna says, well, see, that's the thing, Susanna. It doesn't say 100%. It doesn't have any percentages on here anywhere. It just says resilient superwash merino. So that's what's lending, kind of leading me to think that it is 100%. But it doesn't say that for sure. So I was going to go check the website, but I'm thinking there's no nylon in it. The other yarn was this, this fun Halloween y fall. Definitely has a Halloween, right? Orange and black. Orange and black definitely makes you think. Halloween fallish definitely not as pretty as this is but very holiday themed right but it the color name on here is foxy not pumpkin not spooky not I don't know <laughs> those are not very inventive Halloween names are they but yeah, no, foxy. I don't know. How do you get, well, fox, I mean, I guess, orange orange and black. I guess this kind of could look like a fox, could it? A fox is orange with black and white. Okay, I guess I could see that. 
Um, oh, Sally looked it up. It is 100% Marina. Okay. Kind of had that. Thank you, Sally, for looking it up for me. I don't know what I got side. I think I got sidetracked on Instagram or something. All I, all I know is I remember going to the laptop. I opened it up. I hit a button and then totally got, <laughs> that's totally sidetracked. So thank you. Okay. So possibly we'll add some nylon to that. Anyway, so this was the other option. So this is Universal Yarns. Wisdom Yarns Pros. And this is 75% uh, superwash, 25 nylon. So superwash, nylon, good for socks, wash and wear, throw it in the dryer. And yep, it says machine wash, dry flat. And then it has has knitting gauge on here. So 28 stitches for four inches, which is your kind of typical typical gauge. And there it is. So this has only been in my stash for a few years, I think. <laughs> Pretty sure I remember buying this one on a little trip with our knitting guild, probably right about this time of year, pre-COVID, we went to the Listable Tent Sale, which, oh my gosh, you guys, that is going on right now. And I have not been. I am on vacation. This is the first day of my holidays and I have not been. Miracle. That's all I can say about that. <laughs> and our, we took our guild, took a drive up there. We did the tent sale. Then we were looking for another spot to go have lunch. And we kind of got detoured over into another little town. Um, yeah, it was kind of a... Got to, we got we got detoured around where we wanted to go for lunch. We couldn't go because they were full, so we ended up this little town. And I honestly can't remember where we were, but lo and behold, there was a yarn shop there. Had no idea this yarn shop even existed, and I can't even tell you the name, but I'm pretty sure that that's where this yarn came from. I think so. We had Halloween. Or summer so the question kind of was for voting do we keep the summer feeling going here and knit with this yarn or do I try to be super organized get a jump on Halloween and fall knitting and start Halloween now comments were all over the place and actually you know Instagram stories so that's where I just that's where I just go quickly to all, all during the day and I check and see where we're at, um, kind of what the, what the voting is on Instagram stories. And it was close. It was close all day within just like a handful of votes. There was a lot of comments on the face or the Facebook post and the Instagram actual post. And people were saying it was there again. It was, you know, a lot of comments either way. A lot of comments for saying summer go summer, hold on to summer for as long as we can, you know, keep going, keep going with summer, keep that summer vibe going. Other people were, were saying, Louise, cast on Halloween socks now because then there's a chance you'll actually be able to get them done. And some smart person actually looked up and apparently Halloween is a Monday this year, which will be really fun for us because I'm already thinking I could dress up. You guys could dress up. We could share pictures on Instagram, right? We could do that, right? Would you guys do that? Maybe not. Probably not. I'm sure I'm the only one excited about this. Maybe Jocelyn, because I know Jocelyn. And Natalie. is. Na I see Natalie's here. Natalie. Oh, well, Halloween, you could be out with your kids. Anyways, Halloween's a long ways away. But the idea was, they said, well, they voted for Halloween because that would give me lots of time. And I could wear them Halloween night. And I could somehow get my foot up here and show you that I was wearing them. And I could wear them. Oh, Kim says you would dress up. I think that would be so fun. Oh, I'm wondering if we, okay. All right, all right. I'm getting all these ideas. Wondering if we could somehow do something fun for Halloween. Let's, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Anyways, so there was lots of votes for this. And I, oh, I see some people are saying, Oh, Jocelyn says she 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 she's down for dressing up. I like it. Kim would dress up. Beth would dress up. Oh my gosh, you guys are so much fun. 
Natalie says, last time I dressed up, a paramedic pulled me aside in the gas station to ask if I was okay. What did you dress up as? <laughs> okay, Natalie, somehow I feel we need to hear that story. Maybe, maybe save it for Halloween night and you can fill us all in on that, <laughs> that adventure. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm guessing you must have had blood coming from somewhere, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, Jocelyn says, I'm hoping I can get into my storage unit to, oh, to decorate this year. Stupid sewer back up. Oh, has the whole basement in the building up limits right now. Oh no, that, that doesn't sound good. Okay, so the winning yarn. You guys want to know which one was winning? Which one was in the lead? So I, I tallied every single vote. Facebook, Instagram, there was uh, some people had sent me some direct messages, so I tallied them all, and it was close. And I have to say, I honestly thought that summer would like blow it out of the water. I thought everybody would say, "No, no, no! It's too soon! It's too soon! It's too soon! Don't think about Halloween! Don't think about fall! Yeah, stick with the summer feeling." But it was close. It was close. And when I actually, when I was telling them all up, it, like a lot of weeks, Facebook votes were very different from Instagram. So one of the, the balls of yarn pulled ahead by quite a few votes. So in the end, the winning yarn, the sock being cast on tonight is, insert drum roll, Dramatic pause. Halloween yarn. So <laughs> this beautiful yarn is going into my stash to wait, maybe, so I can probably find my nylon so I can actually reinforce the heel. And Halloween, you guys. So, and I know as much at this time of year, I always get to this and I really want, um, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are all so funny. Um, I really want summer to stick around. I really, really do. And, uh, but, but then there's also a little part of me that's like, Ooh, I like decorating for fall. I like getting pumpkins. I like, oh gosh. Okay. That's not too bad. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. I did my little fancy trick of thumbs in, fingers in, and I did not get half the ball. So that's, I'm going to count this as a success. Oh, hey, Amanda. Amanda, you all, you're late. No, it's, you just pop in whenever. Oh, no, Liz says she lost again. <laughs> oh, Kim, you're making Christmas socks. You are really, well, I was going to say you're really early, but really it's not. It's coming up really, really quick, isn't it? Look at that. All right, I've got the black okay so i'll tell you a little bit of my story before i show you what i my knitting i have been doing a lot of yarn organizing you guys a lot i spent pretty much all day yesterday um i'm like spring cleaning my yarn room just a few months late but i am pulling all the yarn off the shelves giving everything you could shake you know just getting the dust off it i'm wiping down the shelves and pulling the shelves up from the walls so I can wash and vacuum and everything, get everything all tidied up, putting the shelves back. And only a select few bells are going back on the shelves. So I'm, fingers crossed, maybe, maybe, maybe next Monday we'll podcast from upstairs and I'll give you guys a little look of the yarn room. We'll see. Hopefully though. Um, in my mind, I got this great vision. I'm going to reorganize it a little bit and yeah, kind of organize my yarn a little bit different. So, so far I'm off to a good, <laughs> a good, a good, good start, but I've got yarn everywhere. I, I've been finding yarn. Oh my gosh. I found, I found a bunch of this in a bag that I had got from the dollar store. It was in a Dollarama bag. And 
I don't know exactly what I was thinking. Anybody, anybody can read my mind? Oh, please don't tell me if you can. That may not be good. I don't know. I have a few balls of this because I had some brilliant idea. I don't know. I think I was talking about thinking more of like decorating like with pom-poms than actual knitting with it. Uh-oh, I see some some laughing faces here. So I don't know what in the world. Did I find my socks? Natalie's asking. No, not yet. But, oh, but I did find the shirt. I found this shirt because this was a new start Monday from back a few months ago, probably back April-ish kind of thing. So, and this was going to be a cotton sweater. It is going to be a cotton sweater. And then I, could, I couldn't find where I stuck the shirt. But I went to a friend's house a couple nights ago. I don't know. I'm on vacation, so I'm totally losing total track of what day it is. And uh, <laughs> Liz is saying not pom-poms. I know. I'm just attracted to pom-poms. I just had to come home with me. So... Anyways, and we were going to cast on these sweaters. And I said to her, I'm like, I would love to cast on this sweater with you. I said, but I have no idea where my yarn is. I don't know where it is. Anyways, I did some digging around. I found a bag, found all the balls for my sweater, plus one that I already wound. It was cast on the needles because I had already started to a gauge swatch because it was a new start Monday at one point. So it is cast on <laughs> in about the first two rows. So Nikki, I think Nikki is here. This is going to be the center point popover. And I think Nikki has finished one already. So I've got mine started. So I found this yarn. So that was a big win. I also found a bag full of classic wool in white that I bought a few months ago in preparation for dyeing in July and then probably could not find the yarn. But I found that. So I have really good hopes that the socks cannot be that far behind. So I will hopefully have those and I'll be able to show those to you next week. But yes, I did find a bunch of this pom-pom yarn and I have it in white because why not? And I actually like this better because it looks like snowballs, right? So I think what I know what I'm going to do with this, this is going to be like a garland on one of my Christmas trees as white, white pom-poms or snowballs, you know, what, however you want to think of it. So this is going to, this has a use that I'm pretty excited for. This, don't know, weak moment. So yeah, there's two bottles of this. So either this will decorate one really big Christmas tree or two small trees or hang in the window. I don't know. So I'm not going to, I was going to say, I'm not going to hide this stuff too far because Christmas really isn't that far away. I haven't, it's almost time I should be putting the app back on my phone to count down, but I'm going to need this thing. So it's going to go on my dedicated Christmas yarn shelf. So I found that. And then this stuff, remember I bought this stuff here not too long ago. So it was kind of in the top of all the stuff I was organizing. and. It, it has a plan. It, I think it was pillows was what I was thinking for all of this really chunky yarn. I am going to have so many knit pillows in this house, you guys, if I get all of these done. Liz, you're making me laugh. She says, good grief, not one, but three pom-pom yarns. Well, yes. If you find something amazing, you don't just buy one, do you? <laughs> Huge gold pom pom. Oh my goodness. Oh, this could be the star. This could, Natalie, you're brilliant. This could be the ginormous pom pom tree topper on my tree. Natalie, you're brilliant. All right. That now has, <laughs> that now has a use. You were joking. Um, <laughs> I think it's a fantastic idea, Natalie. You are just so in tune with your holiday decorating that uh, you didn't even know it. <laughs> My tree might fall over. I will tie it. It won't be the first time I've had to tie a Christmas tree up to a wall. Uh, <laughs> hi, Nancy. So there you go. So Halloween, and look at this is the start 
of the of the ball so it's going to be cast on with black i'm going to do 64 stitches just a plain a plain sock because i'm thinking that this is going to stripe especially sure now we can't find that there we go because this looks like it's a nice long repeat so i'm thinking that this is going to stripe which will be really really fun love self-striping sally says 124 days four hours 39 minutes and 25 seconds 124 days that's not a long time is it did you buy yarn no no nancy i didn't buy yarn these what this the stuff that i'm showing the pom-pom yarn stuff that i found because i've been cleaning so part of what <laughs> what i realized last night when I was getting ready for bed and I was thinking about what my yarn was going to be for this morning and all of a sudden I thought, oh crap, I had boxed up a lot of the yarn. I put it in totes. Um, I just, because I wanted to clear off the shelves and I wanted to get it out of the room so I could just really clean the carpets and clean all the shelves and just do a really good cleaning, right? So I needed to get everything out of the room, which is a little bit of a trick, I do have to say. <laughs> and um, then all of a sudden I was thinking, I was like, oh crap, I just like boxed up all my yarn. <laughs> what is going to be new start Monday yarn? I still had some sock yarn on the shelf, my, my wall of sock yarn. So I went in there and I was like, okay, what is speaking to me? So that's when I, I found this one and I found the Halloween one. So thank goodness. Otherwise I would have had to start digging through some totes to find some yarn. So Halloween, I'm actually excited for this because I do want I do want to see how much of this I can get done this week. A couple people left comments saying, Louise, you've proved yourself. You've done sock madness. You know you can get socks done quickly. Which means I can. I can. When the pressure's on and I'm doing nothing but sitting and knitting. But I really, really, really want to try hard to see how much of this I can get done this week. Now, having said that, I'm going to be away all day tomorrow. Eric and I are doing a little impromptu day trip. So I am going to be gone from like sunrise to like bedtime. So I don't know if there'll be much knitting. I'll take it with me. And maybe when we stop for lunch or something, I'll be able to get a few rounds done. So maybe I'll be able to get some ribbing done tomorrow. We'll see. Anyways, I. I'm going to get this started and I hope to be able to share some kind of like daily updates. And then next Monday when we come back, hopefully there's lots of progress. I'm not even going to say, I mean, I would love for a pair to be done. I'd be happy if there was one sock done. I'll be happy if I have the heel turn. I mean, I'll be happy with any progress, right? So we'll see. I'm not going to get too carried away and make big, bold predictions because we know that always comes back and bites me in the butt. And it never never seems to actually happen so look at this 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 is last week's new start and it is started not very much but it is started so oh darn, oh i do have the ball band this was just luck not planning because i had meant to run upstairs and find the ball band totally forgot but Ball band is sitting right here. So last week when I had these two, oh, hold on, Daisy. I had these two balls of yarn. These had come from my stash. It's wool and hemp blend, which I am loving. I am having this huge pull to knit with hemp. And um, I love knitting with hemp. I love it. And I've got a bunch of it in my stash. So I think it is time to work with it. And this is some of the stuff that I put in some in some bags and uh, stored them away yesterday. What did I find? There was a black. There was a one or two balls of white. There was a lot of yellow, and there was a lot of red. There was a lot of red, you guys. And I don't particularly like red. Um, so I don't know what I would do with that. Maybe knit it and give it to somebody else. Knit it and maybe try to wear it at Christmas. I'm not sure. Um, there was some blue, but most of the blue I had knit. 
But anyways, so I've got some more of this that I will be able to do something with at some time. What is the appeal of knitting with hemp? Sally, or sorry, Susie, I'm not really sure. Other than it's different. It's different. I don't know why. I, I, I seem to kind of gravitate to things that are just a little unique or different. I Maybe. I'm not sure how to explain it. But there's something about hemp. And I have actually been trying for years. And I'm talking like more than 10 years trying to get my brother to grow at my brother farms and I have been asking him quite often to look into actually growing hemp and it is or it was definitely a bit more of an ordeal because it is in the cannabis family and you have to get special permits from the government and all that kind of thing to grow it but since rules and everything have changed in the last few years I'm wondering if actually growing hemp would be any easier I don't know. He always just flat out says no to all my ideas too, just like a lot of other people I know too. So I don't know. Maybe I don't know if. Uh, but let me tell you, if I could grow hemp and process it and turn it into yarn, I would do it in a heartbeat. And I think there's like like hemp has a lot of. It's durable. Um, it's it's been used for like centuries for everything for from clothing to rope making so there's yeah there's I don't know I just have this this really this love of knitting with hemp and I know some people don't like it because it is rough but it does soften as you wash it now this just feels just like regular wool and where did I put that ball band and I'll tell you exactly a little bit more about it so this stuff came from Vancouver from hemp hemp for knitting is the business name and it is hemp wool 65% wool 35 hemp and does it tell us it says hand wash so this now what I do know about this yarn is that it says it's a worsted the, according to the gauge here it says 20 stitches over four inches on a 4.5 millimeter or a US 7 needle. There's they're 100 gram balls and there's 230 meters, 250 yards. And it says on the tag it's a worsted weight. But it is a very light worsted weight. Because I have knit a couple of sweaters out of this before and it is it's it's really it's really light. So this here is a colorwork Fair Isle project, and I'm doing a pillow, and I'm doing it on a four millimeter needle. So that tells you how how fine it is. It's a very lightweight. Oh, what is this? Okay, I saw Liz say, "Oh, what is this?" Okay, apparently, I need to take a peek at the comments, you guys. Because I think there is some pom pom. Oh, there's a lot of pom pom talk in here. Liz's last comment got my my eye. It says Team Anti Pom Pom, but Louise ignores us. <laughs> Apparently, I need to take a little quick peek back here. Oh, sorry, Nancy. Which one did you want to see? You said hold it closer to the camera for a sec. I'm not sure which one that was. So I'll just hold them all. Hemp yarn. Halloween yarn or the summer yarn. Summer yarn is really pretty. Did you see what you needed to see, Nancy? Or just tell me what you want and I'll hold it up again for you. So I know that this is, is a as a letter weight, so I went down to a four millimeter and I did a gauge swatch. Because this pillow is going to be Fair Isle in just the, the green and the gold. The green is going to be the background color of the pillow. The gold is going to be kind of like a daisy flower. So I've just got a couple of rows done. Knitting it in the round and, shoot, I left my pillow form over there. I'm going to do the smaller pillow form, the 12 inch pillow. I think I showed it to you guys last week, and I wasn't sure if I was going to do the smaller or go bigger. I actually thought I was going to 
I was going to do bigger until I figured out the gauge and the math. And I was going to need like basically 200 stitches. And I thought, oh no, that's not going to happen. 200 stitches doing a big pillow. I was like, that's not going to to get done is what's not is what's going to happen. So I went back to my 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 12 inch and it is so it's it's a 12 inch square but when you measure around it front and back with all the all of the stuffing in there it is actually 25 inches around. So I ended up with 132 stitches which is still quite a bit but it doesn't seem like it doesn't start with a 2 so that made me happy. And it's like all psychological, right? I was like, as soon as I saw that big number, I was just like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Which is kind of silly because I I maybe should have cast it on. And eventually I do want to do a bigger pillow because I want to do a set of three for fall. But I think actually starting it with a small one will be good because then I will see some progress. I will get close to a finish, which will then will spur me on to do the bigger ones and not be so panicky if I have a whole ton of stitches on my needle. But anyways, so far I'm liking this gauge on the four millimeter needle. And you can see, so that's going to be a flower. One start of one petal and start of another. I'm liking the colors together. Really, really liking the green and the gold together. So I'm really excited to work some more on this project. Okay, I got to look back in the comments because I totally got distracted. And, um, oh, would make a good muscle burg hat. That's a fun pattern. Pom-pom rolled in gunpowder. Natalie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> What is it, Amanda? You've been, you've been, I've been informed I'm not allowed to sprinkle catnip over our new puppy. Okay, that would, I <laughs> don't know if that would be good or bad. Probably funny. Um, the cat might like the dog a little bit better, maybe. Um, oh, lightly spray gold pom-pom with adhesive spray and then sprinkle multicolored glitter over it for extra pizzazz. Tammy, oh my gosh, that would be such a huge mess, but it would be fantastic. <laughs> Nothing like getting glitter or like, yeah, stuff all over everywhere, but wouldn't that be awesome? Oh my gosh, a glittery pom-pom. That would be so fun. So, so fun. Oh, Tammy, but what my Grinch one and two vetoed any glitter. You can pom pom, but okay. Oh, Grinch one and two. Oh, Cheryl, she ignored me earlier too. What did I ignore? So, our Grinch one and two, is that Natalie and Liz? Okay, I'm going to go back. Oh, Amanda, generous amount of cat. Oh. Giant pom pom, roll it in a generous amount of cat, and I believe it the cat will find it in video results. <laughs> yes, she would like that, I'm sure. Oh, Liz, you agree? No more Michael's trips. I know. I need to stay away from there. I haven't gone to the tent sale yet, so that is that is good. Oh, Cheryl said you're not allowed to Michael's alone anymore. I know. I need to go and supervise, don't I? <laughs> but the pom pom yarn came from Dollarama. I mean. I was actually in Dollarama today, but I did not buy any yarn, but they actually had a nice little selection of yarn. The person I was with, we walked down the craft aisle and we walked up to the yarn and I said, oh, I said, I'm really glad that Dollarama just, you know, doesn't have, you know, like a good selection or like, or what did I say? More like good quality acrylic yarn there because they have more like craft yarn. That I'm not so I mean you can definitely knit with it. I don't know. I haven't used it, so I shouldn't say, but um yeah, I don't know. I don't sure on the quality. Has anybody used something like like the craft? Is it craft smart? Is that the name of it, or is that what comes from Michael's kind of in their dollar aisle? Anyways, anyways, didn't I, so I just kind of said that, you know, I said about yeah, dollar store doesn't have really good quality yarn. 
wouldn't you know it, they totally proved me wrong today. There was some Lion Brand yarn there. There was a cotton twist. It was a yellow and a white. And it was an acrylic cotton blend that felt really nice. There was, um, oh, something like a bamboo. I think it's an, like an acrylic made from, like derived from bamboo or something. Or maybe it might be acrylic bamboo blend. There was some of that there. There was some Vanna White yarn there. <laughs> and I was like, oh, but I did not buy any. I held, I held strong and I did not buy any yarn. So you'd be very happy <laughs> because I'm mostly probably because I'm in the middle of organizing and I just honestly the thought of bringing any more yarn in that I would have to find a spot for was just like no cannot do it cannot do it oh okay so glitter is evil it is but I'm trying I'm trying to embrace it a little bit more Oh, now you'll take that name. What is that Grinch one or Grinch two? <laughs> oh, Susanna, Craft Smart is the name. Okay. But, you know, it would, I mean, I'm not sure what in Dollarama. The prices in Dollarama have gone up. Some things I was noticing today were up to $5, where before the max had been $4. So I'm not sure what the yarn is, but even still, even if it was at $4 a ball or $3 or $2, that would be pretty pretty reasonable for a, for a project of some sort. Can you picture following Louise into Michaels and standing behind her? <laughs> With a bullhorn saying, put the yarn down. <laughs> okay, that would uh, that would be kind of funny. Uh, make her wear oven mitts to shop. <laughs> you guys are just no fun. I'm not going to take any of you with me when I go to the tent sale. Uh, I know there's no yarn. There's no yarn in my kitchen, Liz. I might have to, might have to put some in there while I'm, while I'm reorganizing it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So Nikki says you've used Dollarama yarn as part of a combo art yarn spin and had, and were you happy with it? I don't, I know somebody knit with some of the cotton and they weren't quite as happy with it, but, um, and, but I'm sure some of it is probably good. Probably some of it's like anything is kind of hit and miss, right? Some of it may be better than others, but it's definitely if you're on a budget and that's what you can afford, it's it's a good place to get some economical yarn, right? Nikki said yes. Oh, it was actually it was really nice, fantastic. Okay, Natalie says if I could pick it up with chopsticks, you can buy it. Film that chopsticks okay my really big my big balls that would be really hard to do unless you could get the chopstick under the ball band that would work okay might found a way around that natalie okay <laughs> that's kind of funny so i did work some more on my orange crush shawl i am liking the, how this is knitting up and the size of it, I think it's going to be fun. Oh, hi, Louise. Am I going planning to go to Barry for Fiber Spirit? You know, I have never been to the Fiber Spirit show. And I don't think so. I don't have any plans right now to go. Is anybody going to it? I've heard it's a nice show. But it's, um, I don't know if I've always just generally been busy this week or something, but I have never, ever gone to it before. I don't know if maybe I, I well, hmm, I maybe should not, but you never know. It would be fun. It would be a good way to end off my week's vacation for sure. Oh, no. What does Liz says? Holding chopsticks correctly. I think I could still do it. I think I could still do it. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, yes. <laughs> this group is funny. Well, you got to have fun, right? 
Oh, Nikki said you were gifted some and I wanted to practice yarn spinning and it was fun. Well, look at that. That was perfect. But you have to hold this chopsticks like you were eating. No single stick stab. Oh, Tammy, I thought you were on my side. Like I was eating. I can't even eat with chopsticks, you guys. So that's not entirely fair. But I feel like I need to go into Michael's and just do this to prove you wrong. That actually would be fun to film, wouldn't it? Okay, I may, I may, I may try that just to prove you guys that I can do it. Where there's a will, there's a way. I may not be able to eat rice with chopsticks, but I bet you I could pick up yarn with them. It'll slide right off on the way to the cart. No, no, you have to have faith. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Liz, you decide you need to go up a needle size on the orange crush? Okay. That, yeah, and that's good. I would say if you're if you're ever unsure, I, I would always go up a size. Diane, use the giant yarn to make a canopy to hold yarn overhead. Hey, that would be, use it as yarn storage. Yes. Hang it and then put, you're right. Ah, oh, let's see. Okay, so Cheryl says, she, oh, yes, you vended at it for the first two years. Did you and Debbie go together and do that? Um, okay, it was an okay show, but you wouldn't drive two hours for it, though. Fair enough. Okay, what is this? Has to pick it up with her chin. Okay. <laughs> you guys are getting very creative. A yarn hammock in the corner. <gasps> totally. And then decorate with the blue pom-pom. Susie, I like how you're thinking. Cooking, cooking chopsticks are thicker and longer than those you eat with. May need to... <laughs> Tammy, okay, I did not know there was... Well, I never thought about it. But I guess that makes sense. Different sizes of chopsticks. There's different utensils. All the different knives we have and forks for different things. Must be different sized chopsticks for different foods. Huh. Okay. Well, then I guess obviously I need the big ones then, right? <laughs> okay. So Orange Crush Shell. I started on ball two. So this was the yarn that I dyed. This is some Patton's Croy sock yarn. So it's a little thicker than regular sock yarn. So I went up to a five millimeter needle. Both of these shawls here were kind of knit with like your, quote, your regular sock yarn, your finer sock yarn. And I did it on a four and a half millimeter. So the patterns I knew I was gonna have to go, I would want to go up because it would be, it would just been a little too, too tight. So I went up to a five millimeter and I'm really liking the drape on it. It feels like I think they feel the same. Like I wouldn't say this one here feels a whole lot looser than this one does. And this is the length that I'm at now. Just start, got a good start on the second 50 gram. And let's see here. I dyed all four skeins at the same time, and I don't think there isn't a real noticeable. Um, color change line, is there? I think there's enough. Where did I change? I changed down here. Where's my, right here. So I don't think, and usually on the camera, it shows. Sometimes you don't really notice something in person or when I'm just looking at it, but when I hold it up and look on the screen, it like just jumps out. But I don't think there's, Um, yeah, I can't see anything. And I'm liking how just those little bits of white are just kind of speckling through it. I'm really, really liking it. So let's see. Hi, Joe. What says Joe's saying? I'm making my first pair of socks. Oh, since 2009. How exciting. Learning everything again. Isn't that fun to learn new techniques? So just like re refresh yourself with them, right? So, um, oh, so Jocelyn, your orange crush is sitting off to the side. You got distracted with a new cast on. I totally get how that happens. Uh, 
that's good. Slightly darker, but hardly. Okay. That's, and I can live with that. Yeah. Yeah, this might be right about here. Yeah, that's just into the second, but yeah, I'm fine with it. I'm thinking if I have to look at it this close to try to decide where it is, then it's A-OK. -okay. Oh, Sally says looks great. Good. Oh, Bernadette, you taught your 26-year-old daughter to knit this past weekend. Oh my gosh, she cast on a hat. That is so exciting. So, okay, Liz says slightly darker, but not enough to worry about. Good. Good, good, good. So let's just hope the other other balls then just kind of transition in just as nicely. So I'm excited for how big this is going to get. I really, I like it. I like the color. I'm just super, super happy so far with it. And so that's where I am right now. So this one's going to be nice and big. That'd be great. Good stuff. Okay. Um, okay, so Kim, you didn't see a difference. Okay, so it's kind of, yeah, so maybe on some screens it looks a little darker, but yeah, I think it looks fine. In person, I'm not really seeing too much of a, too much of a difference either. So I'm just going to carry on because that was the plan anyways. I don't know what I would have done. <laughs> so I really hadn't, I was really hoping that I wasn't going to have to alternate them, you know, towards the end of the one ball, do a couple rows with one ball, a couple rows with the other, and stagger them and then just kind of blend it in. I mean, you can do that, but I was being lazy and didn't really want to. So I am i don't think I need to. So I'm going to carry on, but I'm liking it. You know, the four rows, I mean, it's my third shawl. I should have this pattern down and plus I wrote it. So I should know it by heart. And, and I do, so I don't have to keep track of the rows. I can look at my knitting and know exactly if I'm on the right side or wrong side and wh which row I'm on. So that makes it really, really easy. Joe, oh, your daughter just finished, oh, a knitting course, which had three lessons. Okay, so knitting, yes. And when I visit next month, I will teach her how to increase and decrease and a planned yarn for, very good, very good. That's exciting. It's nice to be able to pass stuff on to people, isn't it? I would fall over in shock if my daughter asked me for a knitting lesson. I mean, I would be so super happy, but I do not foresee that happening anytime soon. Oh, I was going to also show you. I found, came across this bag. Does any of this look familiar? When I was, oh, I'm excited. I like this one. Oh, huh. Okay. Let's look at this. So yeah, this was a bag that I found. I found a ton of bags. So we'll go through. I saw some people were saying like a whip parade. So I, I will show a few things as I find them. So this one here, this was a sock madness sock oh, that I stole the needles from you guys. It has no needles in it. Uh oh. That's dangerous. Started the heel flat. Remember, this was that shadow knit. That was fun. So that's been sitting here since February, March-ish. There's a needle. Okay, I did not use this for socks. Empty needle, you guys. So this was blue and white. This was Patton's Croy. So there's that. And you know, Susie said, I thought the see-through bags were supposed to help. I know, but I'm thinking, what is this one here? I remember this. This was Cowl. I like this project. Really hope I kept good notes on what I was doing. <laughs> so let's see what this one is. This yarn. Oh, no, maybe this was going to be, hmm. Look at, oh, I like this one. So that is that project. And these were minis. 
Oh, I'm going to have to go back, see what I was doing on this one. But there's those ones. Oh, I like that. I like those colors together. Okay, now what was I doing on this one? I was doing this. This is a shawl. This is a shawl. What shawl was I doing? Just a plain shawl, apparently. With a slip stitch on the edge, because I can tell the way it looks, that was slipped. And I'm increasing on this side, asymmetrical shawl. I will have to go back and look. Ooh, nice chagu needle though. Okay, so there's three projects. Um, <laughs> Liz says, I don't think she was supposed to put three projects in one bag. Yeah, probably not. Oh, Sally said you would frog the shawl. I might have to see if I if I wrote down what I was doing on it. Maybe I had some master plan that I that I would like to uh, carry on with. So I'll have to see. But I've got a big plan for all of my works and projects too. So we'll see how much I get done this week. Oh, an Alaska hat. Oh, those are stunning. Stunning. I saw Trish finished. Was it Trish finished a hat? And... Was it, I think, Diane in the Fiber Friends group? She finished one in a different color and they were gorgeous. Diane, that wasn't, was that your hat? I think maybe it was. Finished cowl frog shawl, Tammy says. Possibly. No frogs, they're too pretty. <laughs> frog the shawl, Liz says. Oh, Diane, you did the cowl. Okay. Natalie says frog it. I could and just start something. I could do a different shawl. I could do an orange crush shawl with it. I could, I could, I could. Hmm. I have to see. I have to I have to go back to my whiteboard, check my notes and see, and then and then I'll decide. Oh Joe, so that's it. You did show your daughter how to knit in 2009, but she was deployed overseas and didn't have anyone to help her. And that's the thing, yeah. If you don't have somebody to help you and you get stuck on something, you're kind of stuck, aren't you? Oh Cheryl, you're do you're doing yours in November. November is oh yeah, November. Okay, you guys. So if you didn't catch the Fiber Friends podcast, maybe Cheryl, I'll I'll recap what we had decided on. So September's challenge is going to be clear your needles. So we were thinking around the whole idea that September lots of times is kind of, you know, you get recharged about your knitting and the weather's cooling down. You're thinking sweaters. So it would be a good time in September to finish up some stuff so that you can make way for the newer projects or for gift giving that you probably should already have started. But if you're like me and have not, then, you know, once you get some of those projects finished, then you can just be more open and not stressed about unfinished stuff and be able to carry on with something else. How's that? And then October is something fall themed. It can be the color of the yarn. It can be the project. You can make pumpkins. You could do a dishcloth that has a pumpkin or a witch on it. It could be a little stuffy, you know, if you're doing like the pumpkins or if you want to do more beans, the cats or little Halloween decorations, kind of anything fall for October. November is winter accessories. So hats, cowls, scarves, shells mitts I think is what we were doing so shawls a shawl if you've got a shawl that you need to finish up or one that you want to cast on November is the time to do it and then of course December is going to be Christmas themed Christmas balls Christmas ornaments again Christmas dishcloths that kind of thing oh I know yes Jocelyn I saw your message so do some whip sprints with with you and Diana Okay, I'll have to chat with you about that. I don't know if I'm up for that or not. <laughs> oh, worship made the trees too tall for the hat. Oh, okay, yes, yeah, so then you just made it into a cowl. That was smart thinking. 
Sally, I'm not feeling the Christmas yarn for my Orange Crush. It will be, oh, a do-over at some point. Oh, so, well, yeah. If you're not loving it, then that's to, what to do with it. But I think that would be kind of fun to have a Christmas shawl or scarf to wear for the month of December. But, yeah, if you're not feeling it, then pull it and move on to something else, right? So is what else is everybody working on then? We've, we've just got about, yeah, we've got about the last five minutes here. So I'm, I'm really just going to keep working on my Orange Crush because I'm loving it. It might be a good project for me to take with me tomorrow. Well, no, no socks. I'm going to focus on socks. I was going to say, because I can do the four, the four row BP without the pattern, it would be a good one to take with me because I can just pick it up and put it down. But socks, I'm going to cast on tonight. I will be doing two by two ribbing. <laughs> Does not get any easier than that for, you know, out and about knitting and putting down. So no, Shawl's going to stay home and I'm going to take socks with me for tomorrow's trip. And um, yes, and maybe I will just have to make a point of sitting and knitting and there'll be probably some good pictures of you know like places you can knit kind of thing oh let's see what is everybody working on diane is making mini sweaters for the tree i saw you did i think a little green one didn't you they're really super cute great way to decorate your tree or uh put on like in place of a bow as a a little ornament you know to go to give us a gift Beth, you're crocheting. Oh, a pocket scarf. Those are fantastic. Never really crocheted before. Well, you know what? I think, I mean, I am not a good crocheter, but I would say that's probably a perfect project to start with because it's just straight, right? Um, what is the stitch? Is it a fancy stitch or is it just like a double crochet or something like that? And how are your edges? I know that's my downfall with crochet is my edges go straight and then I miss that silly end stitch and then they go in and then I pick up the edge stitch and it goes out. <laughs> that, that is how my crocheting goes. Kim, you've started, oh, a soupy bulky sweater, Halloween gnomes and Christmas socks. That all sounds really, really fun. Nikki is doing Inclinations Cowl out of hand spun and odd balls of yarn from old projects. That's good. Using up little bits and using hand spun. That's exciting. Jocelyn. Oh, you're in a similar boat. Oh, you love the color of your... What? What? Oh, no. You love. Love. Sorry. I got... Sorry. That was me. You love the color. I thought you were going to say you didn't, thinking about Sally's, that you didn't like it, but you love the color of your orange crush, but I think you want a looser gauge, which means ripping and restarting. Yeah. You might as well do it because then you'll be happier. And it's so fun. Where are you going? We're going to Niagara Falls. So fingers crossed for a good day. <laughs> Joe, you're absolutely right. Mini sweaters are really fun. They're cute. Um. Oh, Cheryl, you're on gusset decreases? That's exciting. Oh, you just had to cast on the Asakawa pattern. Wow, absolutely, I'm sure. Uh, but you can work on two, Jocelyn. You can do a little on this, a little on that, right? <laughs> Susie, you're getting ready to start. What's that? Hue? H-U? Hue by... Oh, by socks? Out of a camo... By socks. Okay. I am confused, Susie. Okay. Anyways, you're starting socks. <laughs> out of camo dyed oh the camo dyed sock I remember when you dyed that it turned out nice and the orange crush and spinning practice those are fun projects Nancy you're working on an orange crush shawl as well um well with a plum colored hobby wool nice oh you're at the same spot okay oh that's good plum colored that would look pretty Tammy's working on a summer top a oh, wool summer top and an easy granny square baby blanket and all lace huge crochet circular shawl. 
what is that? No, blanket in an all lace huge circular shawl. That sounds like great projects, Tammy. Oh, Liz says she's ignoring the fact she needs to mop the kitchen floor. Yeah, that'll still be there tomorrow, unfortunately. Oh, Amanda, a rain a shawl. That's really pretty. Oh, it's in rainbow colors. Lovely. Jocelyn is good at crocheting, so am I. Yes, you guys are good crocheters. Diane, you like the rain a shawl? Oh, hubby. Okay, Susie, what was your... Oh, hubby saw... Okay, yes, your hubby... Okay, so, okay, gotcha. So Susie's going to make the camo yarn that she dyed during our dyeing challenge in July. She's going to knit her husband socks out of the camo yarn. Totally understand that now, Susie. <laughs> Nikki, you've got an eight-hour drive of sitting in the car and two appointments for Marvel and one of... Oh, one of them day surgery. So lots of waiting. So yes, I'll make an orange fresh. Yes, you can have lots. Thank goodness you've got knitting to fill all that time. Jocelyn says crochet is fun. Well, it is fun. It is fun. I just, yeah, I struggle a little bit with crochet, but I enjoy it. It is fun. I do like, I do like it when I do it. I just don't do it often enough. All right, you guys. Well, our hour is up. So Halloween socks for me, you guys. This is going to be a lot of fun. I am going to go grab my needles. I'm going to cast on and I will keep you updated on the progress. I'll see if I can get some ribbing done by tomorrow night. And yeah, and then I'm just going to keep plugging away. I'll see how much I can do. I really do want to work on my pillow because I'm really liking this yarn. I'm liking the colors. And I really want to see these flowers just show up here. It's, it's going to look really pretty. I can't wait to work on that a little bit more. So, and maybe we'll see what I find for projects, like this bag of stuff back here. <laughs> we'll see what else I find. And maybe just one of my older projects, I may just pick that up and work on that. So, hi everybody. Thanks so much for voting. I'm excited for the Halloween socks. Thanks for coming here and chatting with me live. And if you're watching the replay, I am glad that you guys are joining us. And um, have a great knitting week. Hopefully you guys are getting lots of things done, having lots of time this week to enjoy kind of the last of ho summer holidays anyways. Hopefully our nice summer weather carries on into September. So have a great week, everybody. And I will see you back here Monday with another new start. Cheryl and I will be live on the Fiber Friends podcast Saturday morning at 9 a.m. And then Jocelyn and I will be back with a check-in the first Thursday of September. So stay tuned for that because that is always a fun night. <laughs> so have a great week, everybody. Thank you so much for voting. Have a good night, and I will see you next Monday. Bye.